Hey guys, it's Erica. We are going to be checking out again just more of these BTS um, practices that were dropped for the 2022 BTS Festa. They dropped some for like all the songs never before seen rehearsals. So I'm very excited to be checking this out because this one is too. No, literally, yes, we have the album and we have the poster up. You think I'm going to put up posters of BTS and I will put up proof and I ain't going to put up this one? This is like my favorite one. Honestly, love it. Immaculate. Um, but yeah, my dog just started laying on the floor. He, like, normally when he jumps off my bed, it's like because he like wants to leave, but he just like splooted on the floor or splooped, whatever the word is. But I'm super, super excited to be checking this out. These like bring me back to like my baby army days. Like, cause it's weird because I feel like I found them during their most beautiful moment in life era, but I feel like I found their earlier stuff first before I found whatever they were doing at the time so it's like it's it's kind of weird feelings uh but i absolutely love it and i'm excited to check this out so yeah so you know what it like out turns out my dog didn't want to leave the the shirts they've always danced with so much energy that youthful knit energy i think i might be older now than they were any of them were when shooting this. I think so. I'm 24. That's weird. That's weird to think, actually. Are there shirts on backwards? I was thinking that. I was, I, 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 It's always also interesting to see how their choreography change, but there's so much like energy, they're so explosive with their movements back then. Like the choreography days isn't as explosive. Or what they the most recent was. But they're very clean. And it's not my first time seeing the choreography, but it's my first time seeing this video. Even the dance practice. It might have been in this room too as well, the actual no one. Or they did B-sides in this room. Nice little footwork there. That was cool. We love a good spear fingers moment. It's always interesting because they have so much energy and again it just elevates it so much. And like it may not be like as good as their choreography these days, but like it's so really really good even though the choreography is a lot more simple. I mean it is, but like, you know what I mean? But this is still a very, very good performance. And it's like, you don't even have to be insane with choreography for it to be good. You just need quality. Flying around in the early days. BTS. Uh, yeah, so I really enjoyed it. And it's, again, it's interesting to look back and see what like the standard of choreography is these days. Like, it's so different to even what this was. And this was 2014, 2013? I don't even remember. I don't even remember. Um, but like, it's so interesting to see how like this choreography is still really good. And it's like, 
a lot of it is definitely how they're do performing the choreography, the intensity they're putting behind everything, and all that energy and that explosiveness is definitely what elevates it so much. But it's like compare this to like butter permission to dance. Like what like technique wise, like those are would be better and stuff. And I say everything with like air quotes because it doesn't always matter like how difficult the choreography is, technique and stuff. Maybe competition-wise that matters, but like if it's for a performance, it doesn't. And sometimes the simpler stuff is a lot more stronger than I think sometimes the complicated stuff just because it's a lot based off for one, the performer. And then also just, sometimes it's just better, you know what I mean? Like it just reads like so well. And I, I really loved it. And it's so like also interesting to see like, see them now and then just like but that youthful energy they had like that hunger that desire like is just like also really really cool to see and it's also like sort of reminds me of just like because we know BTS as these global superstars beyond like everything but like back in the day when they had that like hunger that desire to be successful and that's like really really cool to just like see that here again and sort of like almost relive it and revisit that type of thing because i was a part of that i was an army before they were glow on a global level before the, like all of it before the bill their first billboard appearance like years before again like 2015 ish um so like I don't know, it just, it's like really cool to go back and revisit those feelings and revisit what that was like and what it was like to see them at that time. Because that's, I think, what the difference is, is they have that hunger here. You know what I mean? And when you get to a global superstar level and just after doing it for so many years and being successful in that aspect, like, I don't, like, it's interesting, right? Because it's like, it's almost, it's... It's different because it's like, it's not like a hunger we get now, but like, I think J-Hope Smore is a great example of that. Like, he wants more as an artist. Like, sure you can give him a Grammy, sure you can give them whatever and stuff. Not that they have a Grammy, but you know what I mean? Like, you can give them all these awards and stuff, but it's still not enough. Like, they still have more. They have that desire to be creative and share that with the world and stuff. So it's more like an artistic sort of desire now, but here they were just hungry kids just wanting to perform and dance and and just try to just make it at this point because they weren't even supposed to be successful at all um i don't know how many people know that but yeah but it's like it's so kind of cool and interesting to sort of see that and experience that again that's what is so cool about these little little perform these little practice videos go to put your thoughts and comments down below which is that about bts's no uh practice that was released for the 2022 bts festa if you like this video this video thumbs up if you liked me and you want to see more of my videos go to hit that subscribe button if you want to see my videos the second they come out hit that notification button if you want to follow me social media twitter instagram tiktok or description down below or at the end screen share the video to your friends thank you guys so, so much for watching love you and i'll tell you guys later Bye. We from the bottom I got your back, back Who need to bottom We saw the make, make Show that we got us And tell me what you wanna Tell me what you wanna work If you leave first, let us die, girl Hold us up and on